Mezquita Cathedral is one of the most important historical monuments in Cordoba, a beautiful city in southern Spain and former residence of the Moorish Caliphs. This was once their center of power. In 756 AD, Abderrahman I founded the Omeyyad Empire of Al-Andalus. Even today, the architectural and artistic influences of the Moors are still present. Cordoba was at its zenith under the rule of the Caliphs. In 788 AD, under the rule of Abderrahman I, the construction of a mosque began. However, it was not completed until the reign of his son, Hikmah. Beautifully designed mosaics and wonderful reliefs adorn the Mezquita. In the 9th century, Abderrahman II extended the building. During this period of construction, much exquisite decoration was added. As time progressed, the enlargement of the mosque reached immense proportions and with great attention to detail. After the Christian army of the Holy King Fernando III conquered Cordoba, the era of the Islamic Mezquita came to an end. Thus ended the glorious years of the former powerful Caliph of Al-Andalus. The mosque was transformed into a church. Further alterations were undertaken from around 1384. Thus, Cordoba's Mezquita Cathedral contains both Moorish and Christian architecture and represents a unique and fascinating combination of styles. However, Oriental design dominates the building. The building complex that surrounds the courtyard and its orange trees is known as the Patio de los Naranjos and is one of the most beautiful Islamic buildings in the world. The present bell tower was part of a former minaret. The oldest tower was a model for numerous mosques in Andalusia. The immense prayer hall is the glorious focal point of the Mezquita. Its 856 columns and horseshoe arches create an oasis of stone.
Cordoba Cathedral, that dates back to the 16th century, is located in the middle of a splendid forest of columns. Precious marble and paintings by Palomino decorate the main altar. Despite its priceless religious treasures, the cathedral has a strange, unsettling effect. Indeed, King Carl V thought the altar and choir area to be somewhat out of place. Approximately 300 years after the expulsion of the caliphs by the Christians, the cathedral within the mosque was meant to be a symbol of triumph. Exquisite ornamental sculptures and beautifully decorated interior are symbols of the former wealth of Spain's Catholic kings. Construction of the new church began in 1523 and continued for approximately 250 years. This long period of construction gave rise to numerous building styles. The magnificence of the building is awe-inspiring. The cathedral was designed to outdo the beauty of the former mosque. Due to the creation of the cathedral, this outstanding sacred building has survived the rigors of time. And who knows whether the old mosque would have escaped the destructive power of the Spanish Inquisition. Due to its cathedral, the building has lived through Cordoba's colourful history almost unscathed. Today, the former minaret of the Mezquita still rises up into the sky, proud, and dignified, similar to the former Umayyad sovereigns of the Spanish Caliphate. The Moorish builders created a solid and enduring monument of their art, and one of Cordoba's most outstanding landmarks.